there's lots of excitement out here with practice starting up. But what were your thoughts on the first practice? Well, I really appreciated the fact that the fact, we practice in the morning. So we're 7 a.m. So guys came out here. They were already on the court at 6.30. A lot of these guys were already sweating in the lather, working on their individual games. So the most important thing is we want to make sure our guys came out here excited and enthusiastic about getting out here for their first day of practice and not sleepwalking. And you have a very athletic team this year, probably your most athletic team from top to bottom since you've been here. Um, also have you know quite a few young guys, six freshmen on the roster this year. But what are your thoughts you know, on the roster and uh, just talk about you know, some of the guys that might make an immediate impact. Yeah, we thought the fact that um, we identified our recruiting need is getting some size and athleticism to affect the rim. That's not just on the offensive end, but also on the defensive end. So we wanted some guys that when we jumped down for passes, they could just go up and dunk the ball and have the ability to finish above the rim. And then on the defensive end, we wanted guys that have the ability to come over and affect other people's shot. And I think we did, went out and recruited that. But now what we have is, I think we have a really talented and deep team, but we have a very inexperienced team. So how quickly can we get those guys from being inexperienced to being experienced will be the key to our season. What, what are your expectations now going into your fourth year here at Southeast Missouri? Well, to me, the most important thing is that we have a selfless team. And that's what I'm trying to make sure our guys understand. I think we have a ton of offensive talent, but we got to make sure that we're sharing that basketball. We have so many guys that can shoot the basketball, so we want to make sure we're one more and, and being a selfless team on the offensive end. On the defensive end, it, talk, it starts with us talking and communicating. We always say that, hey, if you're not talking, then you're being selfish because you have an opportunity to help your teammate and you don't do that. So your voice is going to physically beat your body there. So that's what we're trying to make should we pound into our guys? Jonathan, it's your senior year. Uh, what are some of the things you know, you're hoping to accomplish with this being your final year of college basketball? Uh, well, personally, you know, helping my teammates, especially these newcomers, you know, being a leader to them and helping them adjust to the college game. And as far as like a team, you know, of course we want to compete for the OVC championship. You know, last year we had the APR thing, so we couldn't even compete if we did, you know, so happen to win and get in the tournament. But this year, like, it's no no excuses, no hold back. So that's the main thing. How's it for you to be back out on the court again with the start of practice and, and really starting that hard preparation for this upcoming season? Um, it's exciting, especially because we had a long summer, you know. It was, you know, workouts, weights, but now we get to practice and, you know, help these guys, these newcomers and stuff, adjust to the game and being the leader to them. And because, you know, we got newcomers. But we also have players who was there last year but didn't play much because they either redshirted or had injuries. So, you know, it's a lot of new talent. And the main thing is figuring out a way for everybody to jail. But I feel like it's going to be an exciting year. And this is what we all been waiting for, so. And you've really grown as a leader of this, of this team. Um, as a leader, what are some of those things that you're trying to teach these younger guys that are coming in and experiencing NCAA Division One basketball for the first time? The um, main thing, you know, is being confident in yourself, you know, especially being a leader. So I have to be confident that these guys are going to come in and they're going to listen to what I have to say. But, you know, just teaching them and even off the court, you know, making sure they're paying attention in class and getting to class and study hard because I mean if you're not doing what you have to do off the court nothing on the court matters so you know stand on top of them on that thing and then just being that for them on the court too because they don't have questions and I may not know but just being that and they know that they have an ear to listen that's the most important thing. You guys have a lot of talent on this team too and have a lot of good pieces to, to really have a big season. Um, just talk about the roster you know as a whole and then obviously with you being one of the returning starters back just talk about the makeup of the team this year. Um, as far as like the different roles, you know, we have, I feel like we have scores in every three levels of the court. You know, I feel like we have shooters. I feel like we have guys who can create their own shot. You know, especially with these new guards we have. We got Skylar Hogg and we still have uh, Ladarius coming back. So, you know, we got, we also added some at athletes and athletic people and shot blockers. I just feel like, you know, we have a real good team just all around. And the main thing is just building that chemistry and, you know, making sure that we talking on defense because I feel like we can score with anybody. It's just we had to be tough on that defense. Yeah.